Watch the ABBA, the Apple and Peach video he did about you. Bro, these blue pill people who only focus on the shit that, bro, you know what is newsworthy and what ABBA and Peach should be about if they're a commentary channel who cares about free speech? They should have made a video talking about the fact that I got deplatformed off of most of these social media sites. But he didn't. It doesn't matter. Uh, he sound like an entitled ass bitch. Like a prima donna. Like I wasn't up to speed on this whole Sneeko shit, bro. You know what I mean? I'm not for for mother. I'm not for it all, motherfuckers being censored, being pla deplatformed. You know what I mean? For whatever the fuck the case may be, before you anybody to come out here and tell another fucking content creator what they should do or what they are because they didn't do something, you feel entitled to ABBA covering what the fuck you going through and and telling him what's really important, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, ABBA and Preach, they ain't new to this, bro. You know what I'm saying? And clearly they had reason not to fucking cover this shit because they have some issues with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that, like, that just seems like some entitled ass prima donna bullshit, dog. Like, the, the chinks in this man's. That's all a facade, though. This Sneeko shit's all a facade, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I wasn't in tune with the fuck Sneeko was all out here doing this shit. I thought he was, like, you know, red pill, red pill, or whatever the fuck. But he's just a baby out here that's been brainwashed by the red pill matrix, but he's not living in reality. He's, he's going to have issues down the road unless he gets ahead of this shit now. But um, that shit, they'll scream the entitlement out the ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't like what y'all covered about us. And then to, like, call them blue pill. and I, 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 I don't know. I don't know about any of that, bro. But, like, the labeling and this, that, and the third because you didn't get what you want. And you feel like he should have did this and he should have did that. That sounds like some whole shit, man. I'm sick of the whole shit, bro. I'm sick of the whole shit, dog. Fuck. Coming out of men's mouth, too. There's a lot of men out here acting like bitches. My man's out here right now lecturing me, talking about, oh, Abba, if you cared, you would have talked about my deplatforming. Deplatforming is a big problem. There Bruh, you go. You out here sucking off fresh and fit. Two guys who try to DMCA strike and get a bunch of channels deplatformed, right? You haven't sat in on a podcast with them and had a long form discussion. All of a sudden, now that you're suffering, deplatforming is a big problem. If you felt so strongly, you probably would have said something, but you don't because now you need to suck off their teats just to be able to make some dimes. <laughs> Congratulations. You, you played yourself. yourself. Everybody <laughs> warned you left and right that you probably shouldn't be doing this. Nigga, you can't swim. And then you decide to go in the deep end with the sharks. Uh, he out. said you can't swim with the big boys, bro. Hey, <laughs> I, 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 never, I don't got smoke for Sneeko, bro. I'm, I'm just watching this shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I would like to talk to him, though. You know what I'm saying? I would like to talk. Well, ain't, ain't no point talking to him. He's gone beyond all measure. It don't matter who the fuck says what to this man. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'm, 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 I am not fearful. You know what I'm, saying? I'm not going to be fearful, guys. He, he's, he's, he's made his bed. He got to lay in it, dog. But I am interested in, in the, how the future will look for Sneeko, bro. Because since all this the platforming shit and, and seeing what was said and how he's acting and like what his true ideologies are, whatever the fuck he thinks red pill is, is toxic and it's not good for him. It's like poison. And I'm I'm interested in seeing how that's just gonna play out down the, down the long road. And somebody needs to come up here and, and help this man and check and check him. You know what I'm saying? Like he's been he's been on this platform with. Fresh and Fit and Tate and all the big dogs. I'm, and I'm, I'm like, I guess you would call them the Sharks. Definitely Tate. Well, I would assume like Tate would like hold him accountable. Like, bro, you moving kind of funny, dog. Like, if I was Tate, I wouldn't want to associate myself with Sneeko based on how Sneeko's been moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a little kid. And I'm, not, I'm not about to play with his little kid shit, man. So, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's my two cents on Sneeko, bro. But, um, Abba, pff, Abba, dog, hey. <laughs> hey, you poked a bear, bro. You poked a bear, dog. Now you got to get held accountable, bro. Shit's a little steep. Mm. And all of a sudden, you want everybody to jump in there. Save your ass. You were warned, brother. I don't think it's a good thing. I don't like seeing you being devoured. But what more can a man do? Like J. Cole says, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. saved. That's you. I got the logs. I got the text messages. I got all the DMs. I got the voice notes. You were warned dozens of times. Hey, you just said do not keep my name out your mouth, dog. Just keep my name out your mouth.
Just keep my name out your mouth, bro. And you, you you did this shit to yourself. Now you want to add brain you. Oh, this happened to me. Okay. Well, listen. Take your matrix. Take your red pill. Go off to Bucharest. Suck off the tates. And just maybe you might make a few crypto dollars. Because me personally, I don't give a fuck. Mm. Be accountable for the actions that you took. Because mm. literally nobody, not one person on this planet is surprised by your downfall mm. or you being deplatformed other than yourself. And if you had any kind of integrity, you would go talk to the people beside you who are in the business of engaging in the very actions that make you suffer today. Mm. But you won't do that. You won't do that. Huh? Trying to get me to talk about Palestine. Meanwhile, you kicking it with war criminals. Man, get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> get the fuck up out of here. Watch the ABBA, the Apple and Peach video he did about you. Bro, these blue pill people who only focus on the shit that, bro, you know what is newsworthy and what ABBA and Peach should be about if they're a commentary See, channel. See, the fact that like, that shit, you know what is newsworthy? I don't like that. I don't like that. What is newsworthy is that I got the platform essentially saying what is more important than what you're doing is the fact that I got the platform. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you just discovered why they didn't cover it. Because they don't want to add more insults and injury. They want to make your shit look worse. You know, they out here saying, we know why your ass got deep platform. I told you not to fucking do it. You did it. You want me to cover the fact that you did what I told you not to fucking do? He's a kid, bro. He's a little kid, dog. He's a little kid, man. Which is fine. Whatever. Sneeko, do you. Or just say, I am concerned, but I do not like the influence that this shit has, bro. I do not like the influence that Sneeko has. Some motherfucker has his own hustler uh, university shit going on. And you know I mean, I'd imagine he has, you know, fuck that, man. Like, I'd be, I'd be trying to give motherfuckers benefit of the doubt. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I was about to say, I'd imagine he has had some positive influence on people's lives, bro. But he's not living right. So if you're not living right, you're not doing right. And how are you supposed to? Set other, set other, set other people to move right. They all gonna just do what you do, which is gonna just lead them off all into a toxic valley of death, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody gotta come out here and hold this mother, this goddamn Tasmanian devil accountable. Like you know, check his ass into <laughs> check his ass. Like bro, chill the fuck out, dog. Chill the fuck out, bro. Okay, I, I, after I seen how he was moving on that, bruh, that fresh and fit shit with DJ Academic, I don't give a fuck how drunk the motherfucker was, dog. Like, you need to have, you need to be self aware and hold yourself accountable, you know what I'm saying? And realize who the fuck you are and how the fuck you look. And you out here representing what, you were out here representing man in a positive light. I was, I was assuming before that, you know what I'm saying? Well, I was believing before that, but no, nah, you just out here moving crazy, just repeating bullshit that's been fed to you. You know what I'm saying? It's trendy to talk about what you're talking about, but you're not really living it. You just you just out here reiterating what motherfuckers are telling you, bro. Like, and, and whatever, cool. That's what people do that shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? They get paid off of it. But this shit got influence. That's just I'm scared. That's that's the shit that concerns me. You know what I'm saying? But about free speech. They should have made a video talking about the fact that I got deplatformed off of most of these social media sites. But he didn't. It doesn't matter. He'll get on calls with me like, oh, I care about you. I want you to do well. I don't want your, I don't want your platform to be taken away. I just want to see you make money. Okay. First off, you're already He just told you. He drunk. just, he, he, you just said what Abba just said. I'm stick with a fork. Fucking backwards ass weirdo. Now. If you really care about what I'm talking about, you should have made a video talking about how I got deep platform. I can't listen to If that. I really care about you making money, I should know. I care about you. Before your career and going well, so I gave you advice to not get deplatformed. I find it so funny that you get on your final video and you're like, "Oh man, they deleted my second channel." Like you're acting surprised. I told you this was gonna happen. Mm. I told you gonna lose everything. Mm. Dion told you. That's it. All these people were telling you what was gonna happen. That's how you show somebody they care. Not after they fucked up, but before mm. when you warned them, bro, you going too fast. Mm. That's how you show somebody you care. Mm. I didn't have to tell you nothing. I could have just farmed you for views. I could have done a bunch of stuff if I really wanted to. I was warning you in private numerous times. Oh, I don't care. Okay, stupid. Well, listen. So I said you can't. You, I, I, I just said that. I wish I could talk to this fool. But motherfuckers have tried to talk to him. But it don't matter. Like, you can't talk to somebody who don't want to listen. 
think he know it all. Go ahead, figure it out. It's like it's like a father letting his son go out there and figure it out on your own. You listen to him. I'm trying to give you the advice, bro. You should do this. Nah, I got it all figured. I know it all. I know it all. Boom. Mm. Play the stupid game. You won a dumb prize. Congratulations. You can carry on eating fucking drumsticks with your fork, looking dumb on life. I don't care. Go do whatever you want to do. But don't sit here talking about, oh, blah, blah, blah. that's you, stupid. That's you. And again, these are two videos now. What have you not heard? Accountability. Okay. None. All the bad things are happening to you because the outside world's a problem. All right, young man. Okay. Well, you carry on living like that. That's great. While you telling these women accountability, I haven't seen you take it a single time. Mm. Not once. Not once. But good job. Actually, no, he did do it once. When the Muslims cucked him into apologizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, he had to go religion. They, 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 now he's doing They gained up. Yeah, when somebody yeah, I, don't about know, I don't know him. shit about any of that. Yeah. I love Jews, though. I Stop. Hold Jews. on. New rule for you, Chico. Right? No rule for you. You are not allowed to make fun of any religions on my stream until you make fun of Islam. After you do that, Ooh. you're free to make fun of whatever you want, okay? Look at his face. Mm. Look at his face. Um. Yeah, he tweaking. He tweaking. See, I ain't. See, I ain't. He's tweaking. He's tweaking. Even even though you should be able to do whatever the fuck you want to do, but if I had seen shit like this, bro, all I've seen is the red pill shit, Matrix shit, blah 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 blah. I ain't seen none of this like trolling, a whole religion. Like you don't do shit. You don't. You don't. You don't do shit like that, bro. You don't do shit like that, bro. Like seeing that after seeing this, bro, because I did a reaction. I did a I did a video about Sneeko getting deplatformed and how it's unfair and how you shouldn't get uns you shouldn't get censored. Like I say, you shouldn't. But my video would have been different if I had seen this, bro. I'm like, like you shouldn't have got censored, bro. But I know fucking why. Like, come on, dog. <laughs> you you this this goes against community guidelines. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, as, as blurry as I as I know the community guidelines to be like if if i had done some shit like like if seeing this shit and knowing he got deplatformed it would have made sense like bro what the fuck are you doing dog what the fuck are you doing bro fucking hi shut up mm -mm. two hours later because I, I talk a lot about wanting to convert to islam uh, i've always talked about how the religion that i identify with the most is islam he's he's crazy <laughs> no, brother, he's, he's crazy no, he's no, crazy i don't have anything to joke about islam it's, it's a perfect religion very peaceful <laughs> very accepting no, this, I, I have nothing bad to say about that because they're gonna fucking love, cook your ass religions. motherfucker I equally, actually i love judaism Man. christianity islam they're all great they're all great he I, just I got them put on his back head. you know like those cucked porn videos where <laughs> sneakers just sitting in the corner and there's a muslim man just fucking his values <laughs> 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 After nearly a decade of dedicating my life's work to YouTube.com, they terminated all of my channels. For those of you that don't know, before I started live streaming three months ago, I amassed a million subscribers on my main channel called Sneak. Like, all this shit is in vain now, bro. Like, I feel, damn. Like, I, real shit, dog. I really, I, this is different. This is different. Like, I feel, I, I wish I would have known everything before I spoke on what happened to Sneeko. You know what I'm saying? Because by definition, like, by the literature described in the community guidelines, dog, he's violated it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's caused for deplatforming you. Like, I'd imagine you get videos taken down, you get strikes. So they just took it all at once and didn't give them any reasoning for it. That's fucked up. You can't do shit like that. But if I had seen some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I would have made a video about it, but I would have. But I would have said I understood why he got deplatformed because you don't do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So all this shit he about to fucking you know cry river, cry like cry me river. I've worked so hard. Like I I feel like I feel like I got played. You know what I'm saying? Because I was really feeling for this motherfucker, dog. Like bro, this motherfucker has literally grown up on YouTube in front of everybody, and for YouTube just to goddamn you know erase him within a with a within a bat of an eye. You know what I'm saying? And just like that means you don't give a fuck. Which YouTube doesn't give a fuck, so I feel bad for him. But if you were out here pretty much saying fuck you to certain religions and shit, 
You know what I'm saying? It's not anything productive or good, conducive to like us getting to a better place. Like this shit I speak on. I got issues with things. I call it out. You know what I'm saying? Hold motherfuckers accountable. Talk my shit about certain topics. But I'll never be out here ridiculing somebody or talking shit about somebody for no fucking reason or trying to 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 be discriminatory towards a, towards a whole religion, bro. Like. You talking shit about a fucking religion, dog, and that's that's only one video I seen. Like this, probably countless other shit that I have not seen that this motherfucker has done, which literally makes me feel bad about, which makes me regret the fact that I was out here like, you know, shouting for this. I mean, I, I'm always gonna shout for for uh, freedom of speech and shit, dog. But if you you break a law, you get held accountable. He broke a law, he got held accountable. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a bunch of bullshit now, bro. Bunch of bullshit, dog. Because he's a kid. He's a kid. He's a kid, bro. He's a kid. It makes sense. Andrew Tate shit don't fucking make no sense. They took the shit he did out of context. Demonize a motherfucker. Masculinity. This is a kid who thinks highly of himself, thinks he knows it all, and got held accountable. And he can't deal with the fact, bro. Doing artistic, creative, funny videos with the motto of seeking truth through funny. Then when I started live streaming on my second channel, Schneeko, I quickly grew to 850,000 subscribers in a summer. They had to do something. The theme of my live streams was labeled as Red Pill, which a lot of people on the internet misconstrue as some pickup artist, misogynistic women hating, when in reality, the analogy comes from the movie The Matrix, the Red Pill meaning the truth. Since the beginning of my streaming, the mantra I kept repeating to my chat was that freedom of speech is dead, and if they censor it, it's true. And since then, they got me for three strikes, and that's why they terminated everything, not just my second channel. Oh, so you was, okay, so they didn't take it all at once. Like, you knew you was moving crazy. You knew you was moving crazy. They gave you three strikes. You knew you had two strikes, and that third strike was coming. You knew that shit was coming. <laughs> Bruh. But my main channel and any fan channel with my name in it. Mm. So I posted a YouTube short on my main channel saying, hey guys, I can't stream for two weeks. I'll see you soon. And YouTube hit me with the circumvention strike. And that's how they were able to delete everything off the platform. It's an excuse. Okay. You nah, bro. Go ahead. Get him, Abba. Get him, Abba. Get him. Get him. Get him. The rules are in place because they don't want you continually posting to your audience. Okay. You're already on thin ice. They give you third strike. Okay. You're already on thin ice. You post again, doesn't matter what it is that you post. They told you you can't post, but you post elsewhere. They go come for that is. They're already watching. The defense. This is why you got to do something. This fool thought he was untouchable, thought it was invincible. He thought it was invincible. post it there. Okay, there's a difference between two things. There's what's right and what's smart. Is this right? No. You can make the case for either or, but I would probably on the fact that I don't like people being the platform. Well, no, it is right, though. It is right. It is right because... YouTube laid the law and you went against you broke the you broke the YouTube law. It was nothing in it was nothing that was misunderstood. You had two strikes. You get three most you get another strike, your ass is grass, bro. Like, come on, dog. Like you like what sense does that make? Like, yo, you were a fucking idiot. You're an idiot. Like you know the rules and you and so it is it, it is right. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with freedom of speech. It's you thinking the world revolves around you and you can break the fucking laws. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 let me re, let me retract that. I don't know what specifically he was given these strikes for. But if, if it was given, if he was given strikes for doing videos like ridiculing religions and shit like that, that is, bro, that's this, that's def that's defamatory. It's discriminatory. You talking you talking reckless about people unsolicited. I mean that was and, and that was no context to it, but if you're out here just you know, come on, man, you can't do that. You can't do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I, I let, let me clarify what I was saying. If the strikes were given for something that violated community guidelines, then everything was right. Like this is the course of action YouTube has told everybody they will take with people who break their fucking laws, and you broke their law. But if it was given for strikes, if the strikes were given for some bullshit, then, you know, I, I retract those statements. I'm like, all right, it's a bunch of bullshit. But at the end of the day, Sneeko's moving fucking crazy, dog. Yeah, held accountable. So, like, learning lesson for this motherfucker, dog. You got humbled. I like it or hate him. Same thing I said for Fresh and Fit. I would say for this, I don't think they should be deplatformed. However, if you're asking me what's smart, this is so incredibly stupid. And a lot of the things that you did were incredibly fucking stupid. I'm telling people, be smart.
if that's a good, oh, you that, that's not me. That's you understanding you have an opportunity to help folks, influence folks, do whatever you want if you are just diplomatic. But folks don't want to do diplomacy. They want their way or the high way. Facts. Well, guess what? You work for a company. Facts. You don't want to negotiate. You don't want to be diplomatic. Well, they're going to tell you to take a hike because they don't need you. Do you guys understand that? Like, when you're on these platforms, the reason why you want to be on YouTube is because there's advertisers. Well, YouTube understands there's advertisers, sets policies in place so that they can protect their investment, which is the advertiser giving them money. You come in and you jeopardize that, then you think you don't have to negotiate with them or give ground on anything. Take a walk. You Facts. work for YouTube. You work for you. Facts. They, have they don't. I just, I, bro, I just Listen, talked I about know. all this shit on a podcast with the Red Pill Lions, man, talking about like, could like Rumble potentially take over YouTube and shit. Kind of off topic, but YouTube is such a fucking monster. And I said to say that with all the motherfuckers they canceling, it don't matter. It don't matter. YouTube is is a titan. It's gonna it. It would take it would take everybody to remove themselves from YouTube for YouTube to get shut down because they don't need any creator. To be the face of YouTube, dog. YouTube has over a billion users. I'm, like, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I know that. As much as I be talking shit about it, I, I know I have to move diplomatically, you know what I mean, to, to, to keep this shit going. And every time I get hit, I, I, I assess, you know what I'm saying? I reconfigure movements to figure out how to, you know, seek my objective within the confines of what they're allowing me to do. I have to. Otherwise, y'all won't see me anymore. You know what I'm saying? Listen, to adult shit to do. Sneeko's a fucking kid. I don't know what job. In the things that you did. In the things that you did, I don't know what job would have given you three strikes. Mm. If you I wish I knew what he did. If you a normal nine to five and you simulate that you're fucking one of your coworkers, I don't know how they're going to give you three strikes because that company is now liable. You two gave you the courtesy of giving you three strikes. There's no consistency with the rules. They attack people who are going against their agenda. All the YouTubers that, that are celebrating that me being bad right now have proved my point as well. Don't they apply are to so you, brainwashed and programmed that they can't comprehend the fact that celebrating the banning of another YouTuber is sick. Well, I mean, I tried to warn him. <laughs> I tried to warn him. And uh, yeah, YouTube, I mean, look, it's YouTube's uh, website. They can do whatever the fuck they want. If he broke TOS, then that's an L for him. But I, I, I warned him, I told him, like, he was moving mad. He was moving mad. That's not celebrating. That's not celebrating. That's not celebrating. He's not, yay! He's, got, he's not like that. That that has, the tone is not. Right, I get the. I get the synopsis of the video, man. Like, Sneeko is a, he's just a kid, man. He's a kid, and hopefully this is a learning experience. Like, if you're banned from YouTube, that means you, can you ever come back as a rap? Um, but yeah, he's not, he's not, he's not the definition of, like, being canceled. Like, he got, YouTube held his ass accountable. Like, bro, if you keep doing this shit, you, 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 it's a rap for you. If you keep doing this shit, it's a rap for you. You kept, you kept doing this shit. That's a wrap for you. I didn't know any of that, man. So yeah, this was eye opening for me, right? Um, you know what I'm saying? Good old eyeball. I got the receipts, don't he? <laughs> Always. I'm out.